Hey everyone, Techni here with a review of the newly released wireless gaming headsets by SteelSeries, the 7X and the 7P. Now we're gonna be combining these two together in one review because the main core of these headsets are quite similar, but there are some differences within them and we're gonna cover all of them throughout this video here. But you all know where we need to start, right? And that's gonna be a word from our sponsor, Wicked Cushions. You tired of those flat ear cushions on your headphones or headset with your ears touching the inside of the drivers? Maybe those misshaped ear cushions that are just pinched the heck out of your ears? What about those nasty, grimy, just worn down ear cushions? Gross. Well, I got a solution for you. Wicked cushions. I mean, must I say anything more? Yeah, I need to. Okay. Stock ear cushion. Odd shape. Thin. Replacement ear cushion. Soft. Velour. Plush. Super. Stinking. Thick. Tired of that thin, boring looking stock pad? Wicked cushions. Designs. Thick, plush, must I say any more. And they're not just for your gaming headsets. You can also get them for your headphones. I mean, are you seriously still using these weak stock cushions? Or, I mean, seriously? Your ear cushions look like this? What are you waiting for? A coupon code? Okay, code TECHNI20. Save 20% off. Links right down in the description. So as far as accessories in both boxes here, they're pretty much the exact same. You get your paperwork, your 3.5 cable, your micro USB charging cable, your USB-C to A adapter to route your dongle wherever you'd like, and then you get your dongles for both headsets. As you can see, the PlayStation 1 is much smaller than the Xbox One, which we will talk a lot about later. All right, so jumping into comfort on the 7X and the 7P here. I mean, must I even go into it? You all know the SteelSeries Artist line of headsets are hands down the coziest, at least to me. I stink and love them absolutely cozy. But if you're new to the SteelSeries line of headsets, these guys are fantastic. The ear cushions are amazing. Very soft and plush right there. Pleather lined on the inside. Sports material on the outside right there. Plenty big, plenty deep for me at least again. But again, super stinking plush. My ears don't get too spicy in them and they lock in that sound. Going right up to the headband right there. A flexible like ski style band. Very nice and adjustable. You adjust it by the elastic on the side if you want a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger. And again, it just floats on your head with that elastic band and you can also take the headband in the ear cushions off wash them replace them if you want again going back to those wicked cushions you can put those on here again these ear cushions come off super easy and you can slap on whatever you want if you want something a little bit bigger or different and as far as adjustability in both headsets ear cushions go all the way flat a little bit forward right there in and out and everything so again full swivel in and out plenty of adjustment within the headband Whew. let me tell you what 100% stinking cozy. And I can go on and on about this all day. I've reviewed pretty much every single, I don't even know pretty much, I have reviewed every single Steel Series headset. If any of you have watched, people call me fanboy, right? Because again, I love them so much. And again, that shining point, of course, sound, which we'll talk about soon, but the comfort. Hands down the most cozy headset. I mean, they are just, from the ear cushions to the flexibility to the headband. Even someone like me with this ever so shiny bald head, when you put this thing on, it's like if you got no hair up there like myself, it just floats up there. Even if you got a hat on or something, again, the pressure of the headband is just non-existent, but it's just perfect. From the, I'd say light to medium clamping force of the ear cushions here, or the, uh, you know, cups, and then with the floating on the headband, it is stinking fantastic, and hands down, the coziest headset out there. All right, so now jumping into the build of both of these headsets here. Again, the exact same. Pretty much all plastic minus the headband up here underneath the ski band, that is metal there. The bracket going into that is plastic. The little hoop bracket over here is plastic and then your ear cups are plastic. Now, whenever I stretch these guys out, I don't get worried one bit. Twist them up, I can't twist them up too much because again, you got that metal reinforced headband there, but heck, who's gonna be twisting their headband up, right? Probably nobody. But again, as far as stretching out, I think they'll fit many head shapes right there. Again, for me, definitely right at that light to medium clamping force, but again, I feel like you got plenty of adjustment within these guys, and again, all that flexibility right there. If there's one stress point I would say maybe keep an eye on would be that one bracket going into the ear cup here. As you can see, you have a little bit of give, but again, I can put my name all over this. I've used SteelSeries headsets as my primary for years now and have not broken one set. All right, so let's jump into features and functions, starting on the left ear cup of both headsets. First up, you have your mic mute and mic active button, and by the 
way, that does light up red on the front of the microphone right there, give you a little notification if it is muted or it is active on both headsets. Really cool right there. You have your volume wheel. Underneath that, you have your port for your 3.5 that you can route into whatever device. Underneath that, that 3.5 port there is a share port. So someone next to you, they can listen to what you're listening to as well. And then right underneath that, you have your charge port. All right, so now swinging over to the right ear cup here, there is a difference. As you can see on the PlayStation version, you had your side tone, your mic monitoring, how much you can hear yourself in your microphone when you're talking, you can increase it or decrease it there. Swinging over to the Xbox version, you had your game volume to chat volume. Again, how much game do you wanna hear or how much of your buddies do you wanna hear? You can adjust that there. Now again, you can see that's quite a difference right there and you can tweak this in a software, which we'll take a look at when we do the microphone test. But on the headset, that's what you have and that is a difference. Right below that, you have your power button. But I wanna talk about actually using these headsets. And again, as you can see, you have your little wireless adapter right here, USB-C. PlayStation 1, much smaller than the Xbox One. Xbox One, as you can see, you have the switch for USB to Xbox. And as far as using it on multiple devices, I tested it on pretty much all of them. An iMac, a MacBook Pro, a PC, the PlayStation 4 Pro, the Xbox One X, Nintendo Switch, and then mobile as well. Again, with these guys being USB-C, Bam, you can plug it right into the bottom of the phone if you have USB-C port on it. Also on the Nintendo Switch, you can just take this little dongle, bam, and plug it on the bottom of them. Even with the Xbox One, both of them work on all those, well, obviously the PlayStation One's for PlayStation, but again, the Xbox One, you have the Switch right there. So again, PlayStation will not work on Xbox, but believe it or not, talking about the Xbox version, if you switch it over to USB right up here, it's gonna work on the PlayStation. Perfectly fine. Microphone, sound, functions, features, dials, everything works on it just as if it was a PlayStation headset. It's crazy. It's almost like brings me right back to the Arctic's One Wireless. If you all remember that review a while back, I called that the headset the one for all because again, it worked on everything. And that's exactly what this Xbox version does. It's almost like, again, this is beyond me. Is it like a marketing thing within the, you know, Microsoft and Sony? Like, hey, if you wanna sell a headset with our name on it, so customers buy an Xbox headset, you gotta do this. But again, it, I, I don't understand. Like, why couldn't we just make this one headset for every platform? I'm sure it's some crazy marketing thing. But again, the Xbox One works on every single device, whether it be the Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, Mac, PC, it works on everything. PlayStation 1, the only one it doesn't work on is Xbox. Now also talking about using them right here, we talked about that 3.5 wire we have, right with that little port right down there. If you're using them wirelessly, it's not like a port where you can, again, have it use them wirelessly and then have it hooked up to your mobile device, listen to some music or something. Right when you plug this 3.5 adapter right into the headset, it disables the wireless, it almost powers them off, which is, kind of a cool feature, right? Because again, it's not gonna be using your battery whenever it's dead or whatever, you can still use the 3.5 if you're out just on the road. Now you can charge these while you're using them wirelessly, but again, nice to kind of have that little backup right there. Now, if you did wanna use it like wirelessly with a little bit of music in the background, you can plug a 3.5 that is not included in the box. You can plug a 3.5 into the share port, into your device and still use them wirelessly, but it's not, recommend that I don't, it's not really built for that, right? Cause again, if you're playing your game and then you have your mobile device plugged into that right there, it's really dropped down in the background. Like you gotta really kind of dial in both volumes from say if you're playing on PC and then your mobile device and it's just, again, it, it's not what it's recommended to do. It's meant for a share port, but you can do that if you wanted to. And as far as battery life on both headsets here, you get up to 24 hours and you get a 40 foot range. All right, so now I wanna jump into sound right here. Again, using them wirelessly as far as 3.5, I mean, I guess we'll touch on it, but again, primarily we're buying this for a wireless headset connected by our dongle right here. And as far as the sound, this is gonna go, whenever I talk about the detail, this is go as far as every single device, whether that be PlayStation, Mac, PC, Xbox, and the Nintendo Switch or mobile, anything like that, right? Again, as far as both headsets, PlayStation 1 just doesn't work on Xbox again. And as far as the sound on these guys, 40 millimeter drivers, frequency range of 20 to 20,000. So you might be kind of like, meh, meh, meh. That's what we hear in a lot of headsets. And SteelSeries has always stuck to that. But let me tell you what, they have these drivers tuned stinking perfect. I absolutely love it. Sound is personal preference. It's a big thing, almost just like comfort, you know what I mean? You may like more like really potent, high pitched highs, very minimal bass or, or opposite, right? You might like ear shaking bass. 
And you really don't get that with this. You don't get ear shaking bass with the Arctic's headsets. You have bass. It's a nice, natural, crisp bass though, you know what I mean? It is immersive bass, but don't think of it like this Beats real ear shaking bass, you know what I mean? It's natural, it's crisp, it's just balanced. I absolutely love it. Again, nothing's overdoing anything, right? Again, you have your bass, you have that immersive bass. Uh, my primary games, as some of you know right now, is Dauntless and Cersei Sandstorm and Call of Duty. So we have a wide array, array right there, Dauntless, the bass, the high pitch, uh, you know, of the uh, weapons wailing around, you know? And Cersei Sandstorm, you got the detail, the footsteps, the environment, so much detail in there. Again, Call of Duty, you take both of them and throw it into this big old jumble over there. And this headset works perfect across every single game on every single platform. Again, PlayStation, Xbox, Switch playing those games right there. I, I can go, again, it's just kind of like this headset, the Arctic line of headsets, and that's what this one does right here, right? Is they nail the two most important things, the comfort and the sound. 100% right here. And that's what the sound is on these guys. It's just... Again, that's how I want to put it. If you want something that's good for competitive gaming, something that's good for immersive gaming, and it's just going to cover both of them perfectly, that's the sounds you get right here, right? You got your bass, you got your highs, and you have your mids, and everything's doing its own thing, not drowning one or the other out. It's immersive, yet it is still detailed. It's absolutely a fantastic sound. And yes, they get loud, very loud on every single platform right there. Again, make sure it's cranked up in your uh, your whatever device you're using. Believe it or not, real funny, as far as the Xbox and the PlayStation, right? I'm going throughout my devices, just kind of testing them, giving them the rundown. So I'm on PlayStation playing Dauntless right there, and I'm like, wow, man, this headset just sounds stinking incredible. Like, again, the sound was just perfect. Again, that's as far as both of them. I'm testing both of them on the PlayStation. Right, so I go off to the Xbox, start testing on the Xbox. I'm like, wow, man, it's, it sounds just a pinch better right here, you know what I mean? So I go back to the PlayStation, I realized <clears throat> my console settings, as far as volume on the PlayStation, was only halfway, and it still sounded that good. Like, I was just, I was incredibly blown away. Like, that's never really happened to me, right? Because again, it was loud. I don't know, maybe am I losing my hearing testing all these headsets? I don't know, you know what I mean? But again, <clears throat> It was loud, it was detailed and immersive at that halfway mark on the PlayStation. So then I realized I did that, cranked it up all the way and I was just like, good night, you gotta be kidding me. As it was right there, so stinking good. And then again, I cranked up that volume and it's just, just like, wow, how, how did I miss this? And then also the improvement over how great it already was because I forgot to increase the volume. Let me just tell you what, the sound on these guys, absolutely fantastic and one other thing i probably should have touched on whenever i was talking about the features right there but it just popped into my head right here as far as using them wirelessly on any of those devices so let's talk about the xbox one let's say i got it plugged into my pc i decide to fire up my box uh, xbox right bam just unplug this plug it into your xbox with your adapter of course and it's going to pair right up take it out of your xbox plug it into your mac or switch whatever it's going to pair right up you don't have to hold down all these goofy buttons wait for it to beep and do this Again, it just instantly pairs up to this dongle. I stink and love the simplicity. All right, so we're now using a microphone on the Steel Series Arctic 7X, the Xbox version here. By the way, something I forgot to mention, as you can see right here, as far as pressing the power button, you can answer calls or skip tracks or pause or anything just by a single press, double press, whatever of the power button right there. Pretty cool. And as you can see, you have your EQ adjustment here. By the way, a lot of people always ask, what is the curve I use? This is the curve I use right here. Just bring it up a little. As you can see, my number's right there. Just so if you want to try it out. This is very nice and balanced. Again, you got your mids down here highs peaking up a little bit bass kind of over here doing its thing very nice and immersive for uh, again like dauntless and stuff but also nice crispy detail for call of duty and insurgency standstorm i love this curve you can try it and then tweak it if you want you also have some presets down here and then again as far as your dynamic range i always just keep it off over here your mic preview which you can adjust this stuff in here as far as your volume press this button to record you then you can listen to yourself back so you know if you like the volume of your microphone we have hards a little bit higher than high here now talking about the side tone this is what i wanted to tell you earlier as far as that little dial on the back on this one you can adjust your game to uh your chat volume but you can adjust your side tone in here now let me tell you what as you crank it up to high click save i can honestly barely hear what i'm talking about to hear myself i'm gonna this is, might get loud i gotta pull the mic all the way up to here to hear myself as you can see it's probably very loud to you guys right now so I'm going to pull it back out to normal right there. Now I'm back at normal. And again, I can't hear myself. So again, as far as the side tone here, it's pretty darn weak on this. But again, you go into your Xbox setting. You can adjust your side tone on that as well. And that's where it's going to shine. But as far as PC, yeah, 
not not that good right there and then you have your power options as far as you want to disconnect it but anyways this is a microphone for the uh, 7x let's go and plug in the 7p and see how that one sounds all right so we are now using a microphone on the steel series artist 7p's right here as you can see same controls right down here as far as that power button but as you can see the software looks a little bit different we're losing that uh, side tone button right there obviously because it's on the back of the headset which you can adjust and just speaking on it right now while I'm using the microphone I'm gonna crank it up right now and already with it just like barely rolling it up I hear myself more than the Xbox one as far as in a software cranking it up and saving it on that high right there now I can crank this all the way up and it like seriously I hear exactly what I'm saying as far as a side tone to a T right there again so as far as that side tone really shining on the Xbox version you got to get into the Xbox system for that again not for PC so the side tone definitely shines on the 7p here but everything else is pretty much the same you can adjust your EQ right here you got your presets uh, the microphone deal we were just talking about as you see we have the same volume right here and then your power save options over here all right so let's take all that that we just talked about right there as far as the sound the build the comfort everything before we even talk about price where do these headsets sit in the Arctis lineup right there? You have the steel series headsets right and honestly where they sit number one first off is they are yes replacing the steel series arctic 7 that's that's the way i see it i don't know if they're discontinuing these i mean it would only make sense you know what i mean but that's pretty much what they are they are the new and improved arctic 7s again with the xbox kind of working on every device it's kind of like why don't we make just one again market and deal whatever i don't know but that's what they are they are the new Arctic 7, but now you got Xbox and then PlayStation 4. And yes, these will work on the new consoles as well. The other place where I'd want to put these is as far as the Arctis 9, 9X or the regular 9s right here, as far as PlayStation and Xbox again. These are the upgraded versions of these, again, with the Bluetooth feature. If any of you have watched my review on this, if you haven't, I'll link it at the end. You can check it out right there. I love this headset. This is my main editing headset, believe it or not. That's how good it is, you know? But yeah, they sound the exact same same the difference with the 9 and the 9x is again you have that bluetooth feature where you can sync it up to your phone and actually be able to get that stuff there it's music or phone calls or whatever but also on these guys you don't use dongle or at least as far as the 9x right there you just sync it up right to your xbox with that button on the back me personally i really like the dongle why because it's so simple again you plug it into the bottom of your switch you plug it into your Xbox with the adapter, of course. If you got USB-C on your PC, plug it in that way. Your phone, you just plug it in. It's so easy. I like this better than what's on the 9X when you gotta hold down that button right there. I just love how simple this is. But yes, on the 9 and then the 9X, I love that Bluetooth feature and that is a feature I personally need with, again, my son being in school. So if you don't need that feature, this is what you get hands down, and again, the versatility of these headsets. I'd go with the PlayStation, if you don't use Xbox, then go with the PlayStation one, hands down, you know what I mean? Um, I'm not a big fan of the blue, that's just me, you know what I mean? But I'm also not a fan of the green on this, but uh, it's a little bit more minimal and reduced on this than that uh, blue right there, you know? So again, I think the 7X is hands down that all around uh, great buy headset. If you use every single platform, like, I'm serious, as far as working on everything, 150 bucks. That's how much these headsets are right here. If you use every single platform, go with the 7X. If you don't plan on uh, playing on Xbox or anything like that, then get the 7P. It's still gonna work on every other platform, just not Xbox right there. So again, as far as both of them, I think you got a complete win. I absolutely love them top to bottom. That's the one other thing here, me talking about loving them. Some of you out there might be like, Man, well, when are they gonna change them up? When are they gonna get something different? You know what I mean? And let me tell you, again, you all know I love Arctis headsets. Hands down, my favorite, you know? Not, not fluffing here, it's just seriously is, you know? It scares me. Like, I, even last year, like I was thinking, I'm gonna test so many products, you know what I mean? And uh, I always think in the back of my mind, I was like, gosh, please, I, I just, I don't want SteelSeries to change their headsets, you know what I mean? And it scares me, because you know they're gonna change them, you know? And it doesn't scare me as like, oh, they're gonna come out with some junk product. I mean, heck, we don't know. They haven't done it, you know what I mean? But again, with this being so good, as far as just this core sound and the build and the comfort and everything is so good, it scares me. Like, you got such top tier here, how are you gonna top it? You know, so that, that's what I'm saying right here. Um, again, both of these at 150 bucks. I love them if you're on every platform. 
Go with the 7X hands down. But anyways, that's gonna wrap it up for my review on the Steel Series 7X and 7P right here. I hope I answered some questions for you if you're looking at these headsets. If you have any more, definitely ask down in the comments. Hit me up on Twitter at the Techni1. I'll be more than glad to talk shop with you right there. But again, I hope I answered some questions for you right here, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future tech videos. And I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye now. Thank you.